I am a a like a social media justice warrior. <laughs> if you want to call that. <laughs> uh, I just I just came up with that term today. And we I, are. I think I think we aren't we all to some to some certain extent. <laughs> Um, but such social media keeps haunting me and, and for good and bad, but it is like, I am aware of what it does and I'm always curious of what it does to the players because I'm not even in the realm of, of, of what you guys have to go through the attention yeah. you have to, you guys have to endure this, the messages you guys get, um, DMS before games, after games, how do you manage? Because I think that's an aspect of mental health as well, to be able to differentiate what's, what's necessary what's not necessary what's important what's not important how do you distance yourself from it especially on game day what are the what are the things you you you, you the, the rules you draw for yourself in terms of engaging with social media and direct messages i mean you have to have i mean social media is it is what it is it's 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 theater i mean it's if you really want to you know and and, and break it down really what it is it's really theater um, and you have to have a filter, um, a good personal filter, um, you know, what you allow in, what you understand is real, what you understand, you know, is fake, what you understand is just, you know, somebody trolling you trying to get um, a reaction out of you. Um, for me, I, I look at social media as a tool. Um, I look at it as, you know, an opportunity to me to connect with people, to to get to know people better, to understand people. Um, it's a great way to, especially now with, you know, with COVID, um, it's a great way for, for me to connect with the fans. Um, you know, usually, you know, I would be able to see the fans every Sunday or every early game or every Thursday and Friday, but it's a great way to connect with the fans. Um, but then also, you know, it's a great motivational tool too, because when you're, you know, not playing well and, you know, you're, people are sending you messages and stuff like that. Like, I'm just like anybody else, you know, I save some, I save the messages when people send me like I'm playing like crap or like, you know, this, that, and the other, I save those. And, you know, the moment that, you know, some of the moments where, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm like, oh man, I don't want to go to practice today or, oh man, I'm not doing this. I scroll and I look at those messages and they give me motivation to you know, really to do want huh? to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And I think, I mean, I think a lot of guys do, I think if you know, they do don't tell you, I think they're lying. So I think everybody reads their social messages and everybody wants to be, you know, looked at, you know, in a good light. But I mean, obviously that's, that's, you know, everybody has an opinion and sometimes your opinion, their opinion isn't going to be liked, but I, I definitely do. Um, you know, after every game, I mean, I, I check messages, you know, it's just, it's just something I do. I don't know why it's just something I do. Um, but I mean, that's just how it is. This is how I, I guess I am. Like for me, I, I, I have a good enough filter. I understand. I know what's real and what's fake. Um, but sometimes I think everybody, you want to see what people's opinions about you are. Um, and I think we're all guilty of that, you know, sometimes. But as far as like me trying to, I guess, step away from um, social media during times, like for me, I only check Twitter uh, once, once a week. Once a week, okay. um, because once a week, because usually leading up to game days, I don't check, I don't check Twitter at all. Um, I kind of leave Twitter alone. I only usually check it like after a game, like on you know the next day, and I usually use that next day to kind of catch up on different things. Because I feel like for me, Twitter is the most uh, antagonist, yeah. I guess you could say, uh, site. You know, if you can catch yourself, you know, responding to people or coming back to people. Um, so I try to stay away from that, try to stay from away that. And sometimes Twitter can also boost your ego too. It can make you feel better or look better or, you know, than you actually are. Um, Instagram, um, I'm on Instagram, but I try to limit myself, you know, maybe an hour or two a day or if I'm in the training room or if I'm doing something, I'm idle, then I look at it. Um, but you know, I, I don't respond to every message. Um, I, I just respond to the ones that I feel that are genuine and are authentic. Um, but like I said, I think the best advice that I would tell people is, you know, you use social media, don't let social media use you, use it as a tool, you know, for, for the betterment of yourself. And that's, that's my advice. I give to all body, everybody, don't get wrapped up into it because I mean, just like anything else, I mean, it, it can be, it could be something that could be, uh, useful, but it can also be something that can, that can hurt you in the same way. That's uh, my sentence you stole there, but I guess it's out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, use, yeah. I use that. I use that all the time. I, I, I yeah. like, I'm not letting social media use me. I, I hope I'm not, but I, I am trying to use it to, to an extent, you know, to one extent or the other. But two things I jotted down that I would like to follow up on. I think that the, 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 the messages you save or the comments you read or screenshots you take, it reminded me of the letters that your, the rejection letters your father got. 
and mm -hmm. it kind of seems like it's the same little motivational thing that same you're thing. that you are chasing after, or like that you use as motivation. Yeah, I mean, it's it's exactly that. I mean, I I use that as as kind of like an inner motivation. Yeah. Um, sometimes consciously, but sometimes also subconsciously. Um, you know, sometimes in the back of my head, like I remember, I like I said, I, and I, I'm weird this way, but I remember in the fourth grade when a kid told me that I that I, I couldn't dribble with my left hand. I remember like in the sixth grade when somebody said, like, you know, I I I I wasn't the best basketball player on my on my street. Like I remember these things, and these are the things that, like I said, that I kind of store in my my hard drive, um, and I keep. And you know, like I said, when there's moments and there's times that I feel like I need it. Um, I pull it out and, you know, and this is the thing that's going to get me locked in for today. So that's, that's the time where I was yelling that he only does reverse and, and spins and reverses. And like I said, I remember <laughs> I, I, exactly like it's weird, but like, these are the things that I remember. Like, I remember these, like, okay, he only says I can do reverse. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to show like, so <laughs> that is, that is the, I guess that's the ego. Like we talk about, that's the yeah, ego. He yeah, yeah. So yeah. But that's like the Jordan documentary, right? Or like the, 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 the last yeah. dance documentary. I mean, you use everything as motivation. You use it, use it. Like either either it's gonna work against you or for you, and it's it's on on your on your um, sense of reality, I guess, of how much you understand of what what the message is really about. Yeah, I mean, I mean, everybody uses it, and if they don't, they're lying to you. Everybody uses yeah. you know motivation or you use some type of you know something to kind of motivate them. I mean, that's just that's just how we're just built. How you know how human beings are wired.